والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم a question here uh, from brother mansur uh, he says if i let a, a bank buy a house for me uh, i've got a house which i really want to purchase they buy it for me for a uh, hundred thousand whatever reals for example then they sell it to me for 140,000 this extra 40,000 or 20,000 whatever it is I pay over several years is this kind of an arrangement allowed Sheikh? it looks green from outside but we have to know the details for mm -hmm. instance does the bank now own the title uh -huh. well it makes a big difference mm -hmm. because if the bank doesn't own a title and just goes to somebody else who owns the house a company or a person or a group of people and say here is the money but give him the house. That is a prohibited transaction. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تبع ما ليس عندك. Mm -hmm. Do not sell what you do not own. So this is a missing part in most business transactions. I think the entire world now is coming to realize the virtues and the benefits of following the Islamic economy. It would definitely establish uh, stability uh, worldwide if people were to follow exactly and strictly the Islamic way of transaction and business transaction. So number one, mm -hmm. if the bank buys the house and it becomes the bank, so the bank or the bank representative is going to sign on the title for you that is going to be yours. And they sell it to you for whatever amount, as long as there is mutual agreement between the seller and the buyer. And there is no mention of interest. So if they say, we're going to sell it to you for 140 or 150, and there is a mutual agreement between both of you, and there is no interest rate mentioned, that is permissible. In fact, there is a, a subject in, in Islamic uh, jurisprudence is known as uh, al bayu bi mm -hmm. where I can sell this pen, cash, right yeah. now for mm -hmm. 10. But if somebody wants to buy it on an installment for uh, six months, I can sell it for 12 or 13. But I do not say there is an interest rate. I don't say this is for 10, but with an interest rate of 6 or 4 or 5 interest rate. Once there is interest, then this is a credit, and it is accompanied by interest, and that is prohibited. Somebody will say, then what is the difference between this and that? By the end of the day, the bank or the seller calculated his profit from the interest rate, and he said, I'm going to sell it to you for that. Very big difference now. There is no interest which is the usury, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. If I fail to pay or if I'm late to pay, he's not going to charge me another interest on the interest. Mm -hmm. The amount is fixed. And if I fail to pay for several times, then we're going to sell this property. They will get their share and I will get the remaining part. Not my entire payment will be gone as it is happening with the riba dealing transaction. So you're saying basically this transaction, the one that's... Uh, without the interest, it's a clear transaction. Both parties know what they're getting out of it. Correct. Jazakallah khair,